So today we are headed to Succulent World in Homestead, Florida. I haven't gone in a while and I instead did some online ordering, which didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. So I figured we needed a trip. Uh, so I was trying to get my, my son actually to take a nap on the way and it didn't work. So hopefully he uh, is cooperative so we can get some plants today. He woke up a little bit, so I'm gonna have to keep strolling with him, unfortunately. All right, I don't even know what I want today, so I'm just gonna look and see what catches my eye. But we're starting in this section um, with the four inch pots, and they're 425 each. I have a couple hanging baskets I wanna fill. So I might look for some smaller ones and just get a few different ones to put in. And then, of course, I'm always a sucker for ghost plants, especially these ones, because they are so beautifully variegated in the middle. So, I think I've narrowed it down between one of these two. Camilla's going to help me choose. But yeah, nice group. And back here is the... Hortia and Hortiopsis. So I always like to check this out to see if they have any that I don't already have. I usually get my Hortia. These ones are cute. These bear paws. I usually get my Hortia down the street at Isaac Hans. But I have gotten a few here, including one of these big bunches. <coughs> All these babies. These ones are really nice. Oh, this one's really nice too. But since I have a bunch of these already, I am not going to get them today. These zebra plants also. Very nice though. Oh, let's check these out. This is mini snake plants. Um, some with really variegated leaves. I have too many snake plants already. But they're really pretty. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna get one. I want to, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> Much more of these. Uh, right. Aloe. Aloe. Christmas aloe. Some more of the pretty decorations around here. This little fountain behind this. Beautiful cactus. Nagare. Space for. We'll mark 
kitchen and cafeteria. Little uh, photo, photo booth area over there. Taking a few pictures in front of that. And then heading toward the back. And then in the back, just rows and rows and rows and rows of cacti and succulents on both sides. So same on the other side over there. And we're just gonna wander through some of these and see what we can find. We do have a lot of cactus already. So I'm probably pass on these. I think these ones are a little bit more expensive too because they're super cool. Check them out though. And the rain is starting. Hopefully we don't get hit with a little mini storm. These ones are kind of fun though. I think those are the, the booty cactus. They also kind of look like Christmas trees though. So that would be nice for holiday decorating. We're gonna colors on these too. And these sedum grow really well in full sun in my yard too. So I'm gonna have to pick up at least one more of these. They're so pretty all right. So I have one really pretty variegated aloe and I thought I was all cool about it until now. I have one, I don't want to get another, but if I did get another, that would be it. And here we have basically every type of elephant bush, and jade, if you want to call it, and all the variations, so all green, and then a little bit of variation, a lot of variation. These ones are my favorite, I have a bunch of these at home also. Well, again, no need to buy them, but I will walk down here and look at them. Come on, let's have a fun, nice and relax on my shoulder. I'm usually pretty good at these plant places. I feel like it's calming for everyone. Oh, so much more. I could really spend the entire day here. But that's hard to do while you're carrying a kid. Some really great anacampsuros, sunrise plants, uh, all different colors. This one's great. You know what? I might have to fill one of my baskets with these. I have a bunch of these also, so there is zero reason to buy more. But <laughs> when you look at them, it's hard to not want to, right? These colors are so great. I don't know, this one's calling to me. And this one with this almost white in there. Mm. Alright, I'll have to think about it. It's like my dream one day to have a giant planter like this. So pretty. Okay, so we just snuck out before the rain started and oh rainbow! It's a sun. Can you see it? Can you see that? You can see that rainbow, can't you? Yes, you can. Um, anyway, sorry, I just got very excited about that rainbow. That's a fun surprise. Yes, I'll have to keep this video. Um, anyway, I mentioned before I usually go to Isaac Farms when I go to Succulent World once in a while I do. When the baby's not too crabby. But I was like, oh, it's raining. That's my sign to not stop. And then all of a sudden the rain stopped. And now there's a rainbow, so obviously I'm supposed to be here. I was trying to limit myself to one plant, so maybe we'll li limit ourselves to one plant here. That rainbow is definitely a sign that we should be here, though. So, <laughs> Isaac Farms after the rain. There we go. Really beautiful colors here today. So like a, I don't even know what these are. Like an orange red. They lined them up real nice so. though. <laughs> so it's like a rainbow in here too, basically. Some more ghost plants. We already got some at the last door though. I was looking for some red ones. Those ones are pretty orange. Uh, for a Christmas arrangement. So I wanted to see if I could find any. I didn't see any. 
These ones get more red in the in the sun. Maybe we'll come back to those. And I do have some of these, but they're not quite as red as I wanted them to be. Let's see about fat ones. <laughs> see super bums. And some more sedum. Giant. Also, so pretty. One day. Today they have a really great uh, 195 section. It's really nice. I might even just get some of these 95 red ones. Just a real nice collection of different types. some of soil on them since it just rained. But these ones are really red and really pretty. Yeah, I might have to get one of these little minis. I might need to do that. There's a couple more down here. Oh my gosh, they're just so cute. <laughs> right, right, Christmas color, red and green? Yeah, I think we gotta do that. Camillo is always really into the minis and he found one. Do you want to show it to the camera? This is the one he found. So we have to go with it. And he's going to carry it for me. Because he wants it. <laughs> and we are dealing with the little floods here to get through to the amazing how worth the section they have here oh why did i say i was only gonna get one why why because already look at these they're so pretty and these aren't even my favorite ones oh we're gonna we're gonna have to get two look at this and look we got some stressed ones it's got some bread oh my gosh I love these. I know Fort Worth are not for everyone, but they are for me. They are for me entirely. Put these ones over here. Some piles. Some piles are gonna here. I do have a lot of these, so these I will I know I will not get. But really nice. And then my favorite. All the different types of oh I have multiple here. Again, I think it was the on MLI and all of these Bayeri. That Bayeri has a sort of random one going on there. Yeah, they're just so nice. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna search around here and see if there's any like super unique ones that I do not already have. Um, but they do have ones with more of like the flattened kind of tops here. And then they have some of the more rounded ones. I think these ones might be moon shadow ones. Uh, I don't really know. They're all, you know, hybrids of the area. It's hard to know, especially none of these are, are labeled. But there are all, so it's a good, good one with the rounded tops there. Let's see, I'm gonna look through, see if I can find any unique ones. Uh, see some ones that are a little bit more pink. I have a few of those also. Opsis, I should say. Also here, and then some more of these variegated snake plants. So I guess this is like, you know, I don't know, seasonal. They still look cool. Still not getting them. I still like them. Um, some more of the opsis here. Okay, well that was a fun adventure. A little bit of rain here and there. Didn't expect to stop at two places, but we did. And I did break my rule a little bit. I got two Haworthia. Oh, that was my hand. I got two Haworthia at Isaac Farms. And then uh, 
the little one that Camilo chose. So kind of broke my rule, but there was a rainbow. So I feel like it was just meant to be. And I needed to get some more Thea because they make me feel happy. So I'll show you my haul when I get home. Okay, so here we have our haul from Succulent World and from Isaac Farms. So I'll go through each of them with you, starting with Succulent World. So this is the first one I picked up. I mentioned I did need another blue Echeveria because I had one out in the front, but in the Florida sun in the summer, I kind of got burnt out. So I really like this one. I thought it was, uh, looked really healthy, but it also has a few of the big rosettes on there. And uh, yeah, it just looks really good to me. There might even be you know, some more hiding under there. Sometimes there are with these type of Echeveria. So yeah, just filled out the pot really well. And I'm going to plant that right into the ground. I have a number of succulents in the ground in my front yard, so I'm going to put that there with it. I also have some of these next ones growing in the ground too. Are a type of sedum, and they kind of creep along the ground. Uh, I really like this one though, obviously, because it's really full. I mean, uh, it's, you know, kind of bending over in some places, but I can just plant them a little bit further into the ground or, you know, chop, chop them and prop them, uh, which I was able to do with my other plant that I have out in the front yard. But this one obviously has a lot of plants in it already. Yeah. <laughs> and if you look through down in there, I mean, you can see a bunch of leaves, a bunch of little ones that are growing. And what's also really cool about this is that it propagates so easily that, you know, it drops a leaf and it'll grow within, within a week, you'll start to see a little bit of growth. But also on the leaf nodes, you'll see full rosettes that have begun growing with plants, even a couple ones that aren't fully attached, um, but they do, you can see some roots shooting out. So it'll just creep along the ground wherever I do end up planting it. So there's the first two. And then let's check out the next one. Uh, these ones I do plan on putting in one of the hanging baskets. So this one's a little bit different than some of the ghost plants I currently have. The ones I currently have are similar to the next one. These ones, the leaves are actually a little bit thicker, so I thought that they would work nicely outside in full sun. It tends to be that the thickest leaves work the best in full sun for me. Um, this one, yeah, it's a little bit different than some of the other ghost plants, but I thought it went really nicely with this one. The colors are complementary, but it looks a tiny bit different, so I thought it would be good. Uh, again, most of the ones that I have do look like this with the color variation, especially like these white ones where it's either like the whole leaf or part of the leaf, but I love the way that these ones look so I already have them in the ground in a few spots and a couple of pots of course I just had to get another one that one in the front is really the reason why I got that one I just love the way that that specific plant looked so those two will go together in one of the baskets and then the last one I grabbed I also have a lot of these uh, the Anacamsaros Sunrise I do have them in a few pots, but I have them outside in full sun also, and they grow nicely in my yard. So I had to get another one. And again, with the different colors that you see on here, I liked that some of these leaves you know, were almost white and pink and then the different shades of green. So I needed to get that. So that was my haul from Succulent World. And then we drove a few miles down the road to Isaac Farms, where I wanted to pick up at least one Haworthia. This is also where Camillo picked up a little plant. This one, I think, is a Graptocetum Alpinglow. I was looking at the red ones, as I mentioned before, too, because I wanted to do an arrangement with a couple of red ones, and he really liked this one, and so do I, because it has four little mini babies in there that should grow pretty quickly all types of sedum and sedum hybrids grow well for me um in my weather outside 
so yeah, I think these will grow pretty quickly. And they're just super cute. And I know my daughter will like those ones also. So then, moving on to the Horthia. Of course, I couldn't just get one. I had to get two. Um, but there were a bunch of Horthia retusa that I thought looked really pretty at that one table. So I picked the one I liked the best. I liked this one because the leaf windows looked clearer than some of the other ones, even, uh, you know, a little bit more translucent than the or the other two said that I already have. I don't know how well you can see it here, but the leaf windows are really pretty. Sorry, that is my son playing with his toys. Uh, so yeah, I just thought this one was really beautiful. And obviously, you know, piles, piles of babies on there, which is always nice. And this is a four inch pot. So we got this one for $5. Had I ordered it from an online company, I'm sure it would be like three times the price. But it's a really good plant, healthy and pretty. And looks, even though I have the same plant, it looks a little bit different, which is why I needed that one. And then the last one, I mentioned how I love the Horthia Bayeri also. This one, I think might be the moon shadow. You can see how rounded the leaves are, which I love. And they're also really translucent too. And this one looked like there were some, yep, can see some down here some leaves also hiding down in the soil so I imagine when I take this out I'll even see a few more leaves we could squeeze it up it was raining yesterday so the soil is a little a little looser so yeah you can see a few oh and another one another one down in there so I'm excited to repot this one and set it up next to my other horthy I have another one very similar to this but this one's more compact. It just looks, just looks beautiful. So I am really happy with those. So those three were from Isaac Farms also. So it was a full day of succulent chocolate. And I love looking at this. So I'm excited to get into the garden and plant these. Thank you for watching. Hope this was fun. Subscribe.